Guys, in this video, I'll be showing you four OP strategies to always win in arena duels. Let's get started. Alright, the first strategy is a sword strat. Using this strategy, you first buy a stone sword at the beginning of the match. Then afterward, you buy leather armor. Once you do this, focus all your gold on upgrading your sword to emerald. Once you get your emerald sword, you can decide whether or not to buy iron armor. This strategy allows you to deal high damage to enemies up close. However, you have to be careful with bows since you're squishy. Also be sure to stick with your teammates so you don't take too much damage. The best relics for this strategy are any offensive relics, including fire, static, chaos, combo mastered, sword damage, and trainer. These relics allow you to shred enemies up close. If you don't get any of these relics, don't try to reroll for them because the most important relic to the strat is forest. Forest is a prismatic relic, so if you have to pick a prismatic relic for the first time, Always reroll for forest, since the extra health you get from it makes you really OP, especially with only leather armor. Once you get forest, then you can try rerolling for other relics. Overall, the sword strat makes you a powerful glass cannon that can shred enemies up close. The next strategy is the armor strat. At the start of the match, don't buy anything since you'll be able to buy leather armor next round, regardless if you win or lose. Once you have your leather armor, then you can start buying better armor until you have diamond armor. Once at diamond, upgrade your wooden sword to at least stone. The best relics for the strat are healing and defensive relics that allow you to survive the longest. So relics like lifesteal, axolotls, best buddy, 25 health shield, spike shell, 10 extra health, goliath, 1 health per second, and the infernal shield are all really good. Enchants apart from lifesteal are also good too. However, like the sword strat, force is the most important relic of the strategy. Like I said earlier, save your rerolls for forest, since you will be very tanky with the 50 extra health you can gain from it. The armor strat makes you very tanky and allows you to attack enemies without dying easily. The third strategy is the bow strat. In the bow strat, you can do one of two things. Either save up for a crossbow early game without getting armor or a sword, or get armor or a sword first, then get your crossbow. If you're good at shooting, I recommend you wait for the crossbow as that will be really OP. Having a teammate that isn't using the bow strat is also very helpful, as you will be almost useless before you get your crossbow. Once you get your crossbow, then get leather armor and a stone sword if you haven't already, and buy arrows. Then try to save up for a headhunter, which is crazy OP once you get one. For this strategy, try to get the golden relic floral bow before you get a crossbow, as if you get it after, your crossbow won't turn into a floral crossbow, and it will be a waste. Other important relics for this bow strat are relics that make your bow more powerful or allow you to run from your enemies, like Fleet Footed, Increased Bow Damage, Triple Shot, any enchant except Lifesteal, Axolotls, Electro's Dash, Invisibility Jitsu, and Targeted Strike. Like the past two strategies, Force is still really important, so reroll for it when you can. Overall, the bow strategy is a risky strategy at the beginning, but becomes crazy OP once you get your crossbow, allowing you to easily beat enemies with better armor or weapons. Now the last strategy is the climbing strat. At the beginning of the game, start by spending all your gold on pure wool. As the game keeps going, keep buying more wool, arrows, and fireballs. Also buy leather armor, a stone sword, and a crossbow. Enemies will try to shoot you off, so make sure you have a huge base as you climb up. Also layer your wool, so even if enemies fireball you, your sky base will still be alright. To win matches using this strategy, don't let enemies come up to your base, especially late game, as it will outgear you. This is when you will use your bow or fireballs to knock them off. When sudden death happens, use your bow to damage enemies so they die before you. If you can't hit enemies with your bow, use your fireballs. Healing during sudden death is really important, so this is where relics come into play. Relics that heal you and your teammate like Melody's Guitar, Best Buddy, Axolotls, One Health Per Second, Baker's Delight, Shared Healing, and Golden Apple come in really handy. Static and Fire also help prevent enemies from healing, and Tesla Coils can be placed on your sky base to deal damage to anyone who comes up. Unlike the other three strategies, Force is not as important for this one, as you won't be fighting often, and when you do, you will most likely die. This strategy is great for outlasting your enemies, and also annoying them. Plus, it isn't as required to have a teammate in this strategy. Well, those are my 4 OP strategies for winning arena duels. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments which strategy you liked best. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.